So now let us discuss some questions on reciprocity theorem. Okay. So here we are with the first question. Uh, we have to discuss the uh, you know application of reciprocity theorem. So we have divided uh, the question into two parts. So here we have this first circuit and we have the second circuit. The only difference between these two is the location of this voltage source. Okay, that is the only difference. Everything else is the same. Here, the 100 volt voltage source is present in this first branch. Here in the second circuit, it is present in the third branch. So, if we want to verify reciprocity theorem there are two things which are important here first is the source the location of the source this 100 volt voltage source this and here the 100 volt voltage source has been moved to the third branch so we have to determine especially the current flowing through this branch that is also important here this becomes important the source the voltage source and the current in this first branch this that is important okay current whatever we want to name it we will name it as per the convention that we use so let us proceed so first we have to solve this first circuit so here we have let us redraw the circuit hundred volt then 20 ohm then again 20 ohm then 8 ohm and 8 ohm okay so we have redrawn the circuit now let us assign the current directions so let us say uh, this is the current i flowing from 100 volt then it's uh, get, it gets divided into let's say i1 and i2 so our objective here is to find i2 this is our objective okay so here we can use any approach we can use mesh analysis nodal analysis or simply we can find out the equivalent resistance and then find out the individual current so let us proceed the equivalent resistance way so here as you see with respect to the 100 volt voltage source these two 8 ohm and 8 ohm they're in series total which is 16 ohm this 16 ohm series combination is in parallel with this 20 ohm and that is again series with the 20 ohm so the equivalent resistance is 20 plus 20 parallel 8 plus 8 this 8 plus 8 parallel with this 20 that total combination is in series with this 20 ohm so if we solve it it is coming around uh, this is 20 this is 20 parallel 16 20 into 16 by 20 plus 16 let us calculate it is coming around 8.889 or 8.89 that is 28.89 ohm this so this current i is equal to 
total voltage that is 100 volt by the equivalent resistance which is equal to 28.89 ohm which is equal to the current is 3.461 3.461 ampere this is the current this current now here we'll apply current division rule to find out i2 okay we'll apply current division rule to find out i2 so i2 will be see here this is 20 this is total 16 ohm 8 plus 8 16 ohm this is i1 this is i2 this is i so as per current division rule i2 will be simply i into the uh, the other branch okay the other branch resistance divided by the total resistance 20 plus 16 i have already discussed about all the basic circuit analysis techniques so please watch those videos 3.461 into 20 by 36 isn't it so the result is uh, 3.461 it is coming around 1.923 ampere 1.923 ampere I2 so we have got the current in the branch which we wanted why we found out this current because as per the question the 100 volt voltage source is shifting to the third branch okay so that's why so if this current now we'll proceed to the second circuit so now we have to find out this current here with respect to this voltage source present in the third branch now if these two currents they are equal they match then reciprocity theorem is verified okay so now let us proceed to the second figure the second circuit and again find out this current so again we'll redraw the circuit okay with respect to this so here it will be 20 ohm here 20 ohm then we have 8 ohm 8 ohm and here it is 100 volt okay so again here let us say this current here is i dash okay let's say this is i1 dash and this is let's say i2 dash our objective here is to find i2 dash okay this so again we'll use the equivalent resistance method here 20 and this 20 ohm resistor they're in parallel the resultant is in series with these 8 ohm and 8 ohm resistor so the equivalent resistance here is 8 plus 8 plus 20 parallel 20 okay so that is 8 plus 8 16 20 parallel 20 will be 10 20 into 20 plus 20 plus 20 so it is coming 26 ohm then i dash the total current is voltage by resistor the equivalent resistance that is coming around let us calculate 3.846 ampere this current okay again we have to apply current division rule 
to find out this uh, current flowing through the 20 ohm so here it is very simple this current 3.846 ampere will be divided equally through these two equal 20 ohm resistors so it will be simply i2 dash will be half of 3.846 ampere okay why because there are two equal resistance values here resistors are of equal values so the current will be divided equally so it will be again 1.923 ampere okay so here you see i2 dash this current is equal to 1.923 ampere and here this current here is also equal to 1.923 ampere so even though the source it changes its position to another branch the current because of it in the branch in which it was previously present that is equal in both the cases that is the whole point of reciprocity theorem so we had to only prove that when the 100 volt voltage source was present in this branch we had to find this current then it shifted to the third branch so we had to find the current in this first branch and if these two currents they are equal then reciprocity theorem is verified okay and another important thing here only single source is present when multiple sources come into play this theorem is not valid that is very important reciprocity theorem is only applicable for single source networks okay multiple sources it is not applicable it is not valid for that so okay this is the first question related to reciprocity theorem and we proved the validity of reciprocity theorem okay